Hello, everyone. This is Harish from Okta. Okta users can report an activity they don't recognize as a suspicious activity. Properly acting on this suspicious activity is critical for reducing risk, increasing security, and avoiding fraud. Most organizations already have a service and a process in place for internal teams to investigate further. Being able to automatically integrate with these services is critical. Using Okta workflows, you can integrate these suspicious activity events with an existing service. In this tutorial, we will specifically focus on PagerDuty. Using Okta workflows, you can create an incident in PagerDuty when a new suspicious activity is reported. In this tutorial, there are three parts. In the first part, I'll walk you through the configuration. In the second part, I'll give you a quick overview of the template. And in the third part, we'll have a live demo. In this live demo, you're gonna see two different unique experiences. In the very first experience, you will see a user reporting a suspicious activity. And in the second part of the user experience, you'll see an Okta admin uh, navigating an incident in PagerDuty uh, and triaging it further. Let's get started. Okta Help Center has information about configuring suspicious activity reporting. In addition to configuring, you can also customize the email template that is sent out to your users. In this demo, I'll be using out of the box template. In the interest of time, I've logged in to my Okta instance. I have enabled suspicious activity reporting. In addition to it, I have also enabled email notifications when there is a password change, when MFA enrollment is added, or when MFA enrollment is reset. Now, let me walk you through the template. Once you add the template to your environment, you're gonna have one flow and one table. Let's get started with the table first. The input parameters table has two additional columns, admin URL and integration key. Admin URL is the administrative URL inside Okta. Integration key is the integration key available in PagerDuty to create a new incident. Now let's take a look at the flow. This flow is triggered when a new suspicious activity is reported. This event has a lot of additional attributes. The ones we are specifically interested in here are day, time, name of the person reporting suspicious activity, their email address, and their user ID. We're gonna quickly retrieve the admin URL and the integration key from the data table I shared with you earlier. We're gonna then generate a deep link. This deep link includes the admin URL and the user ID. And this is the deep link that is going to be available in PagerDuty. So when an Okta admin clicks on this deep link, they are redirected to a page inside Okta with system logs for further investigation. We're gonna create a new incident. And in this incident, we're gonna provide the email address of the person reporting the suspicious activity. With all this information, we're gonna use the PagerDuty create incident card to actually create the incident with the name of the person reporting the incident and a deep link and it returns back the incident key. That's it, <laughs> but you don't have to stop here. Uh, you can add additional cards or modify existing cards to meet your business needs. Now let's get into the third part of the tutorial, which is the live demo. For the live demo, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the flow. With the flow enabled, now let's get started. 
The live demo here has two parts. The very first part is the journey for an Okta user. In this case, I have Alex Wilbur. Alex received an email from Okta letting him know that one or more of his multi-factor authenticators have been reset. Alex does not recognize this activity and he immediately reports it as a suspicious activity. Now that a suspicious activity has been reported by Alex, now let's take a look at how the workflow actually creates a new incident and the user journey from an Okta admin's perspective. First, let's go back to the workflow. Let's pull up the flow history. You can see that a new event got created with suspicious activity. It has information about the name of the person reporting the suspicious activity, their email address and their user ID. And with this information, a deep link is uh, created. And a new incident is now created in PagerDuty and we return back the incident key. Looks good. Now let's look at the journey from an Okta admin perspective. Now an Okta admin has logged into PagerDuty and the Okta admin notices that a suspicious activity has been reported by Alex Wilbur. Okta admin clicks on the incident to get more information. At the very bottom, there is a link called view in Okta. Go ahead and click on that. When you click on that, now you're redirected to the system log page within Okta. Here you can see that we are searching for event type suspicious activity. In addition to it, we are now adding the user ID. Based on this search criteria, we can see that Alex has reported six different incidents in the past 24 hours. And you can drill into each one of these uh, suspicious activity incidents uh, to take further actions. This concludes the tutorial. In this tutorial, I walked you through the configuration, I walked you through the template, and we wrapped it up with a live demo. This implementation is available as a template you can add to your environment and get started right away. Thank you.